Got my package here from Ernst Manufacturing. Open it up and see what we got inside. Wrench rails. And we got these larger magnetic wrench rails. It's cool little catalog. All their different extra accessories. thing about these uh, Ernst manufacturing wrench rails these particular type is that you can get them in different colors and then different different assortments for different amounts of uh, wrenches so I opted to get black for SAE and red for metric, which is kind of the theme I'm going for in my box, but then I also have some sets that, you know, I don't, I don't want to have like loose open spaces, so I have some sets that have more and some sets that have less. So, you know, this one holds four wrenches, this one holds one, two, three, four, five wrenches. Here's another fiver. And then here's a one that holds six. And then here's another one that holds six. So, look pretty cool. Looks like you can hang them up on a, on a wall. So, some of these, oh, I guess they all have handles. They're just kind of back here. I'm probably, it looks like these are, they got like a little bit of a perforation over here, so it looks like you can just kind of break these off or cut them off with a, a razor, which is most likely what I'm going to do because I don't really need it to take up the space in the drawer. It's got some, some goo on it, some mystery goo, I don't know what that's all about. Here's the, uh, oh, tripod. Easy, easy wrench removal, available in 15 sizes, wall mount feature, folding space saver handle. Oh, yes, it's, alright, so it's foldable. Not really, I don't really see how you could, I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't really fold. It bends, it bends, like I don't, that's not really going to work. But anyway, I'm probably going to cut these guys off because I don't, I don't need a handle. It's not like a lunchbox. Uh, so I'll probably take those off. But what else? Folding space saver handle. Place wrenches in unlocked position for easy access. Soft non-marring material. Visual observation of missing wrenches. Made of fuel and solvent resistant materials. Transportable. Holds tools securely. Organize your box. Modifiable. Easily trimmed to size. You got the patent number. And uh, I believe these are made in the U.S. I believe. Uh, does it say it anywhere over here? Five tool. Made in the U.S.A. See, I like that. Let's zoom in on that so we can take a better look. Um, yeah, made in the USA. Good. I, 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 I knew that, but I wasn't sure. I ordered these like a couple of weeks ago, so I kind of forgot, but, but great. Uh, plastic is, a. Uh, it's like flexible. It's not like that brittle hard stuff, so I don't think it's gonna crack. Hopefully not. Oh, I see. The goo on here is to hold this, uh, it's, it's the glue that they use to, to hold this thing on here. It kind of it comes off easy though. See, I can just kind of like knead it with my finger, and it comes off no problem. So let me see. I have some cheapo set of wrenches over here. This is my uh, 
cheapo cobalt set I got on Black Friday. I might do a little review on that later. I got this for a hundred bucks. It's like 200 and something piece, 226 piece, I believe. Scent. And, uh, and I like it. So, with the cobalts, they have, uh, all, all the sockets and wrenches, they have uh, the, the red for uh, SAE and um, and blue for metric, so that's kind of nice. But let's see how it fits in here. It snaps in real nice, very secure. Yeah. Well, I think that happened because it kind of bent a little bit, but you're not going to be uh, spanking this thing on a table, I don't think. So I think what they were saying, you can hold it loosely, you can kind of just place it on top of it, and then just remove it and pick it up, or you could push it down and it kind of locks it in there, and there you go. let me see, I'll grab a couple more wrenches. So there you have it. I like it. I like it. Holds them pretty, pretty tight. You drop it. It'll pop out a little bit. I mean, but geez, how often are you going to be rough with this thing? Especially if you're keeping it inside of a drawer. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. But even like you know, you grab a set, you toss it in the front seat of your car if you got to go someplace, or throw it in a tool bag. I don't think. It holds it pretty secure, but you know I didn't even get it for this purpose. I didn't get it for the fact that it holds it so securely. I just what really sold me on these was is that they, they they sold they sold the holders in different colors and they sold them um, different you know a different amount of wrenches that they could hold. So that's what I liked about it. So I might not even keep them snapped in here. I might I might just keep them like this. I just might keep them sitting on top like that and just kind of reach in there and grab it. But it doesn't really matter because it's really not... It's not hard to pull out. I mean, the only thing is if I'm reaching into the toolbox, I'll just have to place one hand down here and then, and then, and then pull it off. But I like the fact that you could do it both ways. You can kind of just rest it on there and it, and it holds it snug. So when it is on, um, you know, just stationary tool tool toolbox or tool bench duty, you can grab it, put it down, no problem. Which is pretty neat. Ooh, tripod error. I got this little cheapo tripod off of Amazon, so I can do a little make these videos. It's, they're much easier to do. When you're not holding the camera with one hand. So, yeah. I like them so far. So good. I'll set them up in my toolbox and we'll have a look. Let's see the bigger ones now. So these are the big boys. Bottoms and they're magnetic, which uh, which is nice. Um, I hear that the magnets aren't super strong; they're not like rare earth magnets or anything. It's just enough. Like if you have a if you have a drawer liner, they don't. Um, I actually got another set of these. I got a black set that I was testing before I got these because uh, I'll, I'll get I'll get to the reason why in a minute. But let me finish this thought. So the 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 bottom of the rails are magnetic. Um, if you have a drawer liner, the, it's a little weak, but I mean, I don't even really think you need them to be magnetic because once you have the wrenches on there, they, they stay up. I haven't had a problem with them falling over. Um, the little bit of magnetism that you get 
is 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 pretty good. So either way it works. Um, if you want to save a little bit, don't get the mag the, don't get the magnetic ones. If you don't mind spending a little bit more, uh, magnetic ones are good. So they have these uh, space saver design. You see how it's oriented in the picture? So you have the uh, it's a kind of because they're as an example, I'll show it on here. See how like they're the the little ridges where the wrenches go, they're leaned back. Uh, normally, when you get these these types of wrench rails, if you wanted to have you know a set and a set, you'd have them like this, and it'll be like you know an upside down triangle. You know, and then you'll have two of them, and you'll have this big gap in between, which is not a really good use of space. But then, if you wanted to orient them this way, what you end up happening ha happening is that now the wrenches on this side are facing the wrong direction. So when you get these as a set, unfortunately they don't sell them as a set where you have a black and a red. So I had to buy two sets, a black and a red, so I can mix and match. I'll have a black one and a red one, then I'll have a whole other spare set. I really wanted to separate metric and standard by color, so I spent a little more and I did that. It's up to you. You don't really need it. I see most people, they just get the black ones or the red ones and they're happy with them. But the way these are set up is that they are actually unique. They're numbered. Each rail has a number one, two, three, four, and they, they tell you where the fronts are so you know how to orient them. Let's open this guy up. Have a look. Like a giant saw blade. You see, it's got like a little magnetic strip on the bottom. So, there we go. You see, over here it says front. Let's see if there's any. Ah, two. Okay. So, then that means that this one. I'll zoom out in a second. I'll zoom out right now. And this one. Where is it? Front. And then you have one. So then this one goes here. And then front. And then four. That goes here. And then my process of elimination, but let's just make sure they sent it correct. We'll confirm that this is the front, and then this should say three, which it does. So, these are how these go. And that's how, so you notice how these, how these grooves go, how these grooves are going in that direction. So that when you place a wrench, you're looking at it, it's facing you. And the same thing on this side, you place a wrench in here, it's facing you versus going the other way. That's why it's important you orient these in this way. So that's uh, that's pretty much it with these guys. I'll set them up in the drawer and then we'll have a look. The previous uh, tour box tour video, you see this is how I have my wrenches arranged. have them taking up these three drawers which although it might look impressive is a really inefficient use of space and um, and that's probably a phone call for dinner Hold on. anywho let's get back to what we were doing here so inefficient yada 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 taking up a whole lot of space um, I wanted to have a junk jar, just a drawer to put miscellaneous stuff, and I don't have that in this toolbox. And, I don't know, this just isn't good. I mean, it's nice, you know, you pick up the wrench, put it down, 
But uh, and these 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 mats, these liners that came in the drawer from Harbor Freight, they came already in the drawers themselves. They're good. They're pretty grippy. They don't they don't slip around too much. And you really gotta gotta whack it good for it to really move stuff around. But ah, I should. Uh, the goal here is to see if I could fit all those wrenches into one drawer and possibly have a little bit of leftover room for expansion. So let's see, let's see how it works out. All right, I'm all done. I think I got them all to fit. What's up with this drawer? All right, let's check out this one, anything left? Now. Ain't that a thing of beauty. Don't have much more room left in here, but at least I got them all there. And I freed up two drawers. Got all the SAEs on the left. And all the metric on the right. It's real nice. Wrench is stay in place. Close it pretty hard. So the only thing tricky with these is just orienting the uh, the long rails so that they're not only evenly spaced for the bottom ones as well as the top ones, but that they also have the correct pitch because if they're not if they're pitched too much then everything starts getting all crooked so if you get the right the right angle and the right spacing they turn out to be pretty straight and I, I don't know if you noticed but I cut all the handles off of uh, off of these wrench rails because I don't need them and they take up space so I think it turned out pretty good it's pretty easy to read These tappet wrenches, they're a little bit harder to read because they don't they don't have any writing on the middle on the body of the wrench, and then some of these overlap, but that's not a big deal at all. So I'm actually very, very pleased with this. Came out perfect. Freed up two drawers. A lot more organized. And now the next step is going to be uh, taking care of this drawer. So let's see what we can do to clean this guy up. All right, signing off. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please like if you like. Comment. I'm usually good about commenting back. And I will see you soon.